The world has recently been obsessed with zombies, but could a zombie apocalypse really happen in real life? Welcome to Terror 5. In 2011, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, published a blog titled Preparedness 101 Zombie Apocalypse to raise public awareness of emergency preparedness. But is a zombie apocalypse really possible? Today we'll be listing 5 most possible and scientific ways a zombie apocalypse could happen. Number 5 are neurotoxins. In 1962, a guy named Clairvus Narcis was declared dead by not just one doctor, but two. He was buried in Haiti, but 18 years later, people found him wandering around the village. It seems the local voodoo priest had used a chemical found in nature and brought him back to life to work on sugar plantations. What caused this to happen were neurotoxins, like the ones found on blowfish, that can and will reanimate a human. These alkaloids slows bodily functions to the point that the person appears dead. The poison will revive that person and bring them back to life in a trance-like state. They will have no memory and will only be able to perform simple tests, thus taking on the form of the walking dead. Number 4 is Mad Cow Disease There have always been a number of brain disorders that can turn a person violent. However, they have also never been contagious until humans encountered mad cow disease. The illness, also known as bovine spongiform encephalopathy, or BSE for short, is a virus that attacks a cow's nervous system, causing it to act strangely and lose control of its natural ability to do normal things, essentially becoming mentally ill. When humans eat the meat and is transmitted, they call it creutzfeldt jakob disease. Some of the symptoms include changes in how the affected person walks, hallucinations, lack of coordination, muscle twitching, and seizures. If mad cow disease got out of control and it turned our delirium into rage and could be transmitted by blood, well then, humans are just a bite away from a zombie apocalypse. Number 3 are fungi. Ophiocordyceps is a genus of parasitic fungus whose species attack different species of insects in the jungles of Africa. For ants, the fungus infects the insect and quickly spreads throughout its body. Fungal cells in the ant's head release chemicals that hijacks the insect's central nervous system. The fungus forces the ant to climb up vegetation and clamp down onto a leaf or twig before killing its hapless drone. It then grows a spore-releasing stalk out of the back of the victim's head to infect more ants on the ground below. If you ask if Ophiocordyceps fungus could eventually evolve and infect humans, well, that's the plot of the post-apocalyptic game, The Last of Us. Number 2 are Brain Parasites Parasites that infect the brain and turn its souls into mindless, zombie-like slaves are fairly common in nature. There is a parasite called Toxoplasma gondii that lives in rats and can only breed inside the intestines of a cat. The parasites take over the rat's brain to get itself eaten and spread the virus. So how can this cause a zombie apocalypse? Well, scientists say that half the human population is already infected with Toxoplasma and all it would take is a mild evolution for it to do to us what it does to rats. It is not so far-fetched as rats are pretty close to humans and that is why they are using these rodents in medical testing. Number 1 are Nanobots Nanobots are devices constructed of nanoscale or molecular components ranging in size from 0.1 to 10 micrometers. These microscopic self-replicating robots can invisibly build or destroy anything. According to studies, within a decade, scientists will have created nanobots capable of crawling inside the human brain and creating neural connections to replace damaged ones. It will be able to rewire your innermost thoughts and will be programmed to keep you functioning after you die. Experts predict that someday, microscopic nanobots will have sufficiently evolved to end civilization by flooding the planet with the cannibalistic undead. Now, which do you think is more terrifying? 
creepy websites or ritual creepy pastas.